Alright guys, how's it going? Today we're going to use the path tool and we're going to create some nice geometry and we're going to learn a few things hopefully while we're here. So in traditional fashion, let's delete the cube by hitting delete. Pow! Let's go to add up the top left. Let's add a curve and then add a path. Now initially you won't see anything. So if we quickly jump into edit mode, it'll give us a better idea of what we're working with. So you can see that we have a path here. Now paths are pretty handy, they're ideal for animation, but what we're going to do is we're going to select the first point, we're going to hit the move tool and we're going to move the first point up, we'll select the end point and we'll move this down. Now we've got this nice kind of S shape going on. So what we'll do is we'll go quickly back into object mode and we'll come to the object data. It's this little green icon here. Now we'll leave most things on default. We're concerned with the geometry, so we'll click geometry and we'll go down to depth and we'll just pull the depth out ever so slightly. So 0 0.5, pretty good. So now we've got this kind of nice pipe. So what we can actually do is you can actually animate this. So you'll notice that it's got bevel starting. So if we scrub through, we get this nice animation. Now that's pretty damn handy and you can keyframe this simply by pressing the dot here. But for now, what we're going to do is we're actually going to jump back into edit mode. And now you'll actually see on the left hand side that we've got a few different options. We've got radius, we've got tilt, and we've got randomize. And that's because we're essentially working with an animation path. So let's hit radius and let's select the center point. And let's use the left mouse to bring it, drag it up. And there you go, we've got this kind of nice muscle. Now this can also be animated like so. But what we're going to do is we're actually going to convert the path into an actual mesh. And the reason I want to do this is hopefully be a little bit clearer in a minute. So we'll jump back into object mode. We'll go to object and down the bottom here it'll say convert to. And we'll convert it from mesh to a curve and that'll actually create geometry. And you'll immediately notice that some of the options have disappeared, because now we're in a mesh. So what we can do now is we can actually apply modifiers to this. So if we go to the modifier tab, which is a little spanner, and if we add a modifier, we can actually add wave. Now you'll notice straight away, we've got this kind of crazy thing going on at the moment. And that's because it's a value in the center point. What it does is it actually animates from the middle. But we can cheat. So here's a quick tip. If you go to add mesh and we'll just select a UV sphere for example. We'll press S to scale it down. And we'll move it right to the beginning of the topology. Round about here. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to quickly hide that so it's not in the scene. I'm going to reselect the nerves path or our object. And you'll see here that it says start position. We can make that we can change that to sphere. Now watch what happens. We get this kind of cool worm effect. Now we can change the offset, the lifetime, the dampening. We can even change the speed so we can make it faster. But we'll slow it down a bit so we can actually see it move ever so slightly. You can change the height so you can actually play right around with it. But let's keep this nice curve. Now I have no idea what you're going to do with this effect. Let's add another modifier, let's, let's add a solidify and that'll give it some thickness. Like so, and we'll apply that. And let's add another modifier and we'll do a subdivision surface. And there you go, we've got this nice smooth surface. And let's see it animated now. Now that's pretty cool. And if you want to be really creative, what we can actually do is go to add modifier and then do a wireframe modifier. Hopefully this will give you some better ideas and you can do something a lot more intuitive than I can do. But, any questions, stick them down in the comments. Thanks for watching. You know what to do. Like and subscribe. Peace.